Talk, the place where I talk tech. And today I'm coming at you with a quick little unboxing. Still working on my new studio, so I'm experimenting with a different camera angle. So you guys don't really see everything I see right now. Definitely check out my studio tour that's coming up. But yeah, I'm gonna jump right into it. I have a photo shoot tomorrow. I needed a couple of things just in case. There's one thing that I've wanted for a while, but I was just waiting for an occasion which I'd use it. So yeah, anyway, I just got a lot of Amazon boxes right here in front of me. So I'm gonna go through and unpack them all. And I'll show you guys some of uh, the few things that you might need for a photo shoot. So let's check it out. First things first, it's in a little bag. I'm gonna grab my knife. It's more like a box opener or what have you, but uh, it's pretty handy. And I'll just dig into this little package. It's from Allura Photo. They have a lot of cool stuff and it's reasonably inexpensive. I'm just gonna dump everything out and show you guys what I got. So the kit that I ordered is basically like filters. I'm gonna be shooting outdoors. So I needed a few new filters for my camera. Like, it needs to be density filters. So the first thing I see is a rubber collapsible hood. So this is just something that folds in three different positions. And it's a lens hood. So you can either have it fully out like that. Um, kind of small like this. So it's just rubber and it's collapsible. So I'll try it out on my camera so you guys can see how it looks. It says that it collapsed midway and then fully. I see the first two positions, but I'm not quite sure if I see three, but here's two. But yeah, here's how it's supposed to look. Focus, focus, focus. There it is. All right. Next, uh, a spare cap. So really the only thing I wanted was the ND filter, but it came with a kit. So I'll go through everything that's in the kit. But this is like a spare lens cap. So this thing would come in super handy because I cannot tell you how many times I'm running around looking for the lens caps that go to any particular lens that I might be using. Next, there's a another style hood, lens hood. So this one is a hard plastic and uh, it's a 58 millimeter. So it looks pretty cool. So it also comes with a magic fiber cloth. You can never, ever, ever have too many microfiber cloths. So let's check these out. Here's one filter. I'm gonna try to do this and see if it works, but I'm not sure how to come out and post. But I was just gonna throw the lens over this camera and see if you can see the change. So here's this lens. And that's kind of the effect that we'd be looking for. It's not screwed into place, but using this outside is what I'm after. This is a 58 millimeter ND8. These are kind of like sunglasses for a camera. I'm shooting outside tomorrow and I really want to make sure like, I capture a rich, full color. And um, college graduation is totally a big deal. I want to make sure that my client definitely gets a good experience. So I figured I'd grab some new filters. So this is a 58 millimeter ND4. And you can kind of see that one. It's kind of like a smoky, like it actually looks good in here. So the way I have the scene lit is that the light is behind the camera and it's just kind of casting across my face. I don't know if you'll get the full effect, but it's totally cool. And then this guy is the ND2. So it goes up from like a 2, 4, and an 8 so far. And this one is just a little less, but it actually looks really good. And I'm trying not to get that reflection back. Because again, this isn't screwed on. This is just placing it in front of the camera so you can see the effect. But the way you would attach it, just grab a lens real quick. All right, so let's see how they actually look 
with the camera. So I have here my Nikon D5600, my favorite go-to camera, and also my favorite go-to lens. And it already has the lens hood that came with, with this, so it kind of snaps on. And this came with this actual lens, so I probably won't need this one. Or I don't know if this one will fit. Okay, okay. So these, this lens has like an outside diameter thread and it kind of screws into the inside diameter thread of my lens. So this guy's pretty good. But I want to kind of see how the ND filters look. I guess the same thing. Most people say that you should always use a filter even if you just keep one on at all times to protect your lens. So I pop that guy on, and I'm gonna pop it on my camera really quick. And it actually looks pretty sick. So I really like this. And then it comes with the lens cloth, like if there's a little bit of specks of dust on it, you can kind of wipe that off but it doesn't really show up in camera. So that's a good thing. But yeah, it just, I like the analogy of saying it's like having sunglasses for your camera. And this is exactly how you go about installing it. So I'm gonna put this guy to the side and keep going. So yep, here's three filters so far. I have the rubber lens hood another lens hood, the travel cover. There's one more set of filters. So I really like the packaging. Like, everything's pretty good. And anything that comes with a travel case, something I can just throw in a bag and take with me is always awesome, always a plus. And this one is a CPL filter, so I kind of throw this up here. And you see how it kind of changes the look of the camera. I'm catching a little bit of reflection from my overhead lighting. So it's kind of reflecting back into the lens when I show you this. So it's kind of hard to see the full effect. But maybe I'll do a video where I switch different lenses in camera and I'm able to show you a little bit more in detail. So this one's probably the clearest of it all. It's just a UV filter. So this is more like the basic filter if you just want to cover for your camera and you just wanna protect your lenses from UV light, then a UV filter is the way to go. And you can put that up, and if it weren't for the glare of the lighting in the back, it's pretty much a clear lens. And last one is the ND4. So it went through all different levels of filtering in this one kit. So I'm super excited about this. This is gonna be great for many shoots to come, hopefully. And this is my Promolore Photo ND Filter Kit. All right, now, now that I got all that, pardon the note, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> Next up, I have the most critical thing you need for a photo shoot. And if you don't know what this is yet, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. One thing I like to do when I'm shooting, oh yeah, you like that knife, right? One thing I like to do when I'm shooting is stay organized. And that is impossible to do, either shoot or stay organized without an SD card. So this is just a spare SD card, basic, sand disc, no muss, no fuss. It is capable of storing full HD videos, which is great. Speeds up to 80 megabytes per second. I would go through like how to format it, but that would be a little bit time consuming. But definitely just slap in the SD card, go into your camera settings. So you go to your menu and go to storage and you would basically select format SD card. And that way you have a brand new card for your shoot. Everything's gonna be safe and backed up and stored and you don't have to worry about losing any of your film. The worst thing that most photographers worry about is going out in the field and having a photo shoot for several hours and getting back and 
this guy has an update or this guy's corrupted. So this is one thing I do, like I pretty much use the new one for any paid gig. And then that way I can just do my editing, do my thing, and then give it to the customer. So it's all good. An SD card is critical. If you could have a, unless you're shooting from a phone, which is totally okay, it doesn't matter what camera you're using, it doesn't matter how many filters you have, what lighting, what tripod, what equipment, it doesn't matter what gear you have, this is essential. Everything else can be either, you can grow, you can build up your tech and your gear as you grow. But things like this, these are key. So I'm gonna get that there.